All right, welcome to Boom Beach, Defiance Rebels, Plain Pants here, and today I think we're just gonna have some fun. We're just gonna have some fun. We're gonna do uh, Doctor Terror one through seven, and then we're gonna complain about what's going on with resource bases. All right, so let's actually go in reverse order. And I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but my resource bases, ever since the last update where the Cryoneers came in, my resource bases have just been getting hammered relentlessly. I don't know if they reshuffled the, you know, the pairings of the resource bases, but like resource bases that haven't been touched by anyone in such a long time are now all of a sudden turning over like crazy. Like I still have this one level six resource base, which I think is the first resource base I've ever gotten. And it, it's never been attacked, like literally never. But I have these other ones that all of a sudden are turning over like crazy. Like, uh, let's see. Well, here's one, here's a 28. And I don't think this one's been attacked in quite some time. And then all of a sudden it's been attacked like probably five to ten times in the last week. And I've had to do this repeatedly. And eventually it's going to actually become somewhat difficult to deal with. And I don't know why it's happening. I, I, I guess... They decided that like these freebie resource bases are should no longer be allowed and now we have to compete for each and every one. But I will tell you an unexpected bonus of having this happen is that getting your daily supply chest has become very easy because I've lost five resource bases and I'm able to get them back in about five minutes without losing troops and immediately get my supply chest. So I don't think that was Supercell's aim to have happen, but that's definitely a side effect of having them all of a sudden be turning over all of our resource source bases. I mean, I personally like to have a handful that are just, I can just rely on, you know? But anyways, let's do, oh, I didn't need to go into this. Why don't we do, uh, why don't we do terror? Because I have some really uh, meaningful insights as to how to do, as oh no, the replays are already gone. What the heck? Oh, the first three stages were really funny too. All right, well, these ones aren't that funny. This is just me using my gunboat to tear down all of the major defenses. When it comes to Dr. Terror, or Dr. T, my plan is always very simple. Get rid of the major defenses, the key defenses. Well, first of all, if I can't clear enough around the base to just critter the thing to death, then I take care of the major defenses before I land. And that's what I'm doing here. Taking care of the major defenses. And actually here is sort of like a borderline situation where if it wasn't for that cannon right there, I probably could have waited it out. But since the cannon would ultimately take out all those critters, I decided to land my troops, which is kind of annoying on level four, and take care of business. Not a big deal. Heavy Zooka. Standard win. Alright, let's go to stage 5. I will note, however, that I did get a uh, crystal on stage 4, which was quite nice. Alright, let's view this battle. Level 5. For me, this is where I start to have to make sure I'm being thoughtful, because sometimes with stage five, you can't just gunboat down everything that's going to give you problems. 
On this one, I think you can. Yeah, there. That shock launcher is, is out of play for a landing right where that flamethrower used to be. And now I think my troops come down. Okay, so that was a waste because I didn't take down any of those things, unfortunately. And I think I doubled down on that situation by throwing critters, which barely do anything, so... If I had to do it over again, I would probably use my gunboat a little bit more wisely. But no, no worries. Things get taken care of. Minimal casualties. Just basically hug the wall, keep keep the uh, edge of the screen at the back, you know, to the backs of the troops, so nothing can uh, nothing can snipe you, and everything's all right. Stage six, where it gets interesting. Stage six. Now here we've got shock launcher there where I shot. There's a shock launcher on the other end and then rocket launchers on either side. So right now I'm doing very careful calculations to try to figure out if I can GBE down everything which I've got maxed out artilleries and maxed out barrage. I've got about a hundred and seven gunboat because I'm boosted. I take down all those major things and my troops are soon to get to work. Shock to make sure my heavies can't get sniped by those boom cannons and machine guns. And then approach from the top right and admire the golden statue of Hammerman. Hammerman. This is, at, 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 at my level, and, and actually this this week, level 6 is pretty easy. Now, I'll show you level 7, which I won, but by the skin of my teeth, because of an untimely mortar fire. I believe it's that mortar right there, that level 22 behemoth. It took out way too many, way too many of my Zookas. So it looks like it's just unassuming. It's just sitting there. No worries. I'm not anything to worry about. Yeah, take care of the shock launchers. Those are much more, much more dangerous. Fool's gold. It was fool's gold. If, you're, if you haven't done this stage yet, make sure you take care of that mm, mortar. Ah, two of them right there. That took out, out, like, literally half of my Zookas. That mortar, those two mortar rounds. Unbelievable. And it made this stage a nail-biter. Unnecessarily, I might add. But I get revenge on that Hammerman statue. It's coming up. Oh, he breaks into a thousand little Hammerman pieces. And with about four or so Zookas left, I managed to take this baby down. I think overall, Hammerman was pretty, pretty, pretty doable this week. Um, three crystals overall, pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what the heck is going on with resource bases because it just, I mean, I basically every time I log on. I've got, I'm down four or five resource bases. So, so I guess I'll just wait another 18 hours for them to come back and then I'll easy peasy get my supply chest again. All right, folks. 
Hope you guys have a great day. Plain pants out. Later.